Hello and welcome to another one of my blogs. My name is Craig Hinchliffe and I am a product manager at Citrix focusing on Zenapp and Zen Desktop. Today we're going to talk about app groups and tagging, which is a new feature of our recent Zenapp and Zen Desktop 7.12 release. So I just want to walk you through uh, one of the challenges or the, the challenge today. If you look at delivery groups, what our customers are doing or having to do is create delivery groups with specific BDAs in them to control the launches of them. If they want to be more specific about what launches are done on which BDAs, then they have to split those up into different delivery groups. From an end user perspective, they log on to Storefront, they see the apps, and that's, that's perfectly fine. This challenge is more an admin issue, so kind of how can we optimize that admin experience? How can we potentially reduce the BDA workloads that are needed for this? And potentially, how do we reduce the number of delivery groups? Because as you scale this out, we complicate things by needing more and more delivery groups and, and more and more VDAs. So that, that essentially is the, the, the challenge that we have today. And we're going to just walk through how we're going to address that with app groups and tagging. So with app groups and tagging, <clears throat> we can take a slightly different approach. We still need a delivery group, but in this case, we can have one delivery group. And then we have an app group or app groups that can be assigned to delivery groups. In this case, we've got sales marketing and we've got architects. Now, one of the differences here is that the app group can query the delivery group for all available applications, but you can be specific as to which ones are available to this app group and the same with the architects group. Then you assign your specific AD permissions to the relevant AD group on each of these, as you can see from this diagram. So the first change here really is instead of seven AD permissions at the delivery group, you're now doing this at the app group. And that's a very important thing to remember. Once you've done that, you can start to create tags. And this is again how you would create tags normally with inside Studio. Um, so here I've got two tags, one's for advanced users and one's for basic users. And essentially what I can do here is tag items. So firstly, the sales and marketing have a filter applied to them. So the sales one has the basic filter applied to it and the architect one has the advanced users filter applied to it. Then I tag specific resources with the relevant tags. So in this case, I've got three virtual machines. All of them have the blue tags and two of them have the orange tags. What this means is I now can control the launch behavior. So which resources will be used to launch those specific resources. So in this case, the desktop is available on all three VDAs. It's only available to the architect and will be launched on any three of those VDAs. Whereas for sales and marketing, they only have access to two of those VDAs and launches will only happen on those two resources. What I'd like to do now is just take you through a couple of uh, use cases um, that haven't been possible on, on these FMA architecture, but were possible on, on 6.5. So in this case, um, today a customer would create a delivery group. And as users log on, they are randomly launched on each of a, a, any virtual machines that sit behind that delivery group. And that's randomized based on our load evaluators and, and all that stuff. Now, what happens when a user logs on and the user experience is poor. We get the normal Citrix is slow, IT have to try and reproduce this. So how do I, as a user, log into Storefront and launch directly to that VDA? Well, the answer is it's quite challenging. But with the new model, we can take, we can now address that. So we've taken the same approach again with app groups. We do have two app groups, the standard Visio app group that the architects are a member of, and we've got an IT support app group. So this is more of a troubleshooting app group. It's not really used by the users. You have the IT people assigned to that app group, and you have a, a filtered tag assigned to that, as you do for the Visio one as well. And you can see on the right, we have the green VDAs here, and each of them has the orange tag. But then you can see my problematic, the one that I know has the issue on it, also has the blue tag, which means that when me, as a IT support user logs on, 
then I will log on directly to that machine. Okay, so I can now start to, to reproduce that problem and go, okay, I've captured the information, so I can now ask the user to, to carry on doing their work and I will look into this issue. Another one is kind of how you would roll this out. Again, similar kind of concept, different names for the app groups, but essentially the same concept. What I have here is three VDAs running, um, running the um, UAT environment and the rest using the standard um, Visio environments. So any with the orange tag are launching as expected. And then these three here are a different instance or a, a, a patched version of Visio in this case. So again, you can do your UAT testing and once you're done, you can roll this out um, to all users by just changing that tag and away you go. And just to summarize, um, so app groups can only be used for applications and hosted shared desktops. Uh, we don't do this for VDI. Um, we're including VM hosted apps as part of this because this does use VDI infrastructure. Also, as I made highlighted a bit earlier on, uh, when using app groups, remember that you need to set permissions at the app group and not the delivery group. If you do it in both, you'll get yourself in a pickle. Using app groups and tagging is going to give you a lot better flexibility. Um, as I've highlighted there, we, we can't put a virtual machine in a in both in two delivery groups. So with this tagging concept, we can kind of achieve the same thing in a different way, but it certainly will mean that you shouldn't have to create multiple delivery groups with multiple virtual machines. You can use this tagging concept with app groups and that should address a lot of your needs. That will give you single app to single server or single desktop to single server. Um, and just to bear in mind, an app group can only have one tag applied to it. It's actually a filter, um, but resources themselves, such as virtual machines, can have multiple tags. So just be conscientious around that when you're setting this up. So as always, I'd like to say thank you for your time and stay tuned for more blogs from me. Thank you very much.